think, what is the task that we have as psychotherapists? Now, I see it as being this. We are, our patient has models of self, which are in many ways adverse, unfavorable, pessimistic, that, that usually, with unlovabilities being built in as a result of actual experience. Similarly, they have models of how important figures in their life are likely to treat them, parental figures. Well now, insofar as a patient comes to us for psychotherapy, they bring these models with us, they bring these expectations with us, based on their actual experience. And as I see it, our task is something like this. We want to help our patient explore himself, which he has never dared do, because it's too perplexing and too painful. Now, in our relationship with a patient, we try to provide him with the secure base that he has not had. We try to provide him with a secure base from which he can explore. And as therapists, we try to do what any sensitive, Responsive mother tries to do to be reliable, to be alert, to be empathic, to try to see things from the point of view of the other, um, to be responsive, and to be helpful. And that is our first and basic role. And it's almost by definition, a patient wouldn't be a patient if he'd had that experience in the past. And consequently, he doesn't expect, expect it in the present. He expects something different. So there's a mismatch between his expectations and what we think we're trying to provide. Now, in the initial phases, it may well be that the patient is totally unaware of a mismatch. I recall a patient of mine who subsequently told me that she had lived right through our first year together, believing that I was a stuffed shirt and all my attempts to be kind and helpful were so much uh, pretense. Um, of course, that made things rather difficult. but. This was based on her actual experience, I believe, of a mother who had never wanted her, but who had claimed that she did. So she'd had a mother who had pretended, and she, so she confidently expected me to pretend. In a similar way, um, another patient I'm thinking of, who confidently expected that this would be the last session because she, I, I would get fed up with her and kick her out. Again, it was based on her actual experience of a mother who had constantly threatened to abandon her. What one might describe as the most significant component of therapy. Um, what in the therapeutic process is going to have the most leverage? Well, I do believe that one indispensable uh, a component of therapy is that we should do our best to provide the patient with a secure base. It is what we do is always insufficient and we ought to recognize that uh, because a patient like anyone else wants a true lasting attachment relationship and although in some ways we are imposters on the one hand, we offer this, but we also know that what we are offering is, is totally insufficient. And I think we've got to be very clear-headed about that. We are doing our best, but it is not optimum, 
and it is not what might be of help, most help to the patient, but we do our best. Um, but of course, as I was saying earlier, there is what we are trying to do uh, is not what a patient recognizes or, or perceives, uh, as likely as not if they've had a great deal of, of say, intrusion in their life, they expect, expect to be intruded upon and expect that the therapist is going to demand that they look after, <clears throat> the patient looks after them. I mean, th this is the <clears throat> unconscious expectation, sometimes conscious. Uh, 